Hi and welcome to this video on bearings. GCSE level, maths made easy. So a bearing is an angle measured from a north. So when we're measuring from point A to point B, we measure from the north, we draw a north line and measure from that clockwise. And the angle is always given in three digits so if it's 99 degrees or less we add a zero and make it into three digits so here I've written 60 degrees as zero 60 degrees measure from the north clockwise direction A to point B we can draw a line from A to B and we're also sometimes given this as a distance so if we were given a, a distance from B to C proportional we draw that and that would be a distance from B to C. The north lines can be considered as parallel lines and the line joining them as a transversal. These two angles then become supplementary angles in that they add up to 180 degrees. So if this was the 60 degree angle then the other angle would be 120 degrees. 120 add 60, 180 degrees. So here we have the north lines, parallel lines, cut by a transversal. And then the angles, here we've got the vertical angles, which are the same, A's, and vertical angles, B's, here, which are the same. So just revise um, parallel lines and transversals and how they're related to bearings. Angles in a circle add up to 360 degrees. You also need to know this when working with bearings. So if we want to know the bearing here from north, and we know this angle, so it would be 360 degrees minus this angle. When we're working with bearings, we usually draw triangles um, to work out the angles. And then from that, we work out the bearings we can also work out the distances from the points. Here we're given the distance C, which is from A to B, distance A from B to C, and then we can draw a line from C to A, and that would be our distance B from C to A. Here I've drawn the supplementary angle from A to this line C, so measure it clockwise from the north line. If we're told in the exam that B, point B is due north of A, we can draw the north line this way, so the north would be in this direction, so draw it in this direction, so A to B, B is north of A, due north, and then any other points draw the line, the north line, parallel to this original line that you've drawn, and then use that to work out our bearings. When we've drawn our triangle and we know an angle and the opposite side, we can use the sine rule. Sine rule is used to find the size of an angle or length of a side. So if we know an angle and two sides, we use the sine rule. If we know an angle and two sides, or two angles and a side rather, we can use the sine rule. Here I've written out the sine rule for us sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. Usually we only use two of these, so sine A equals A, for example, equals sine B over B. And here I've written, or I've rewritten the sine rule. If we know an enclosed angle, so that's an angle in two sides within the triangle, or we know the three sides of the triangle, then we use the cosine rule to work out angles and sides. Here I've written out the cosine rule for you. An important way to remember the cosine rule is that if we've got the a squared here on this side of the equal sign, then it's cos a over on the other side, b squared cos b on the other side, c squared cos c on the other side, and then a squared plus c squared, which is the other two sides of the triangle, minus 2ac, and then cos b, which is on the other side of the equal sign. In this question, 
we've got a ship got a bearing of 120 degrees from X to Y so this is the port X and it's gone to position Y for a distance of 9 kilometers then from Y it's gone on a bearing of 30 degrees so we measure 30 degrees from north 12 kilometers to a point Z if we redraw this X to Y north lines then we can see that this supplementary angle here is 60 degrees so this is 120, 60, 60 at 120, 180 so this 60 plus 30 gives us 90 degrees making this a 90 degree angle so we can redraw this triangle as we've done here with this 90 degrees x, y, z this is 9 kilometers, 12 kilometers and this angle theta and this whole angle here from this 9 kilometer distance line to the north line is 120 degrees so we can work out this distance x to z using Pythagoras because we know a squared equals b squared plus c squared so this is 9 squared is 81, 12 squared is 144 square root of 225 which is 144 plus 81 is 15 kilometers so this distance from x to z is 15 kilometers now this angle x is given by our trig ratios remember so ka toa so tan theta equals opposite over adjacent our opposite is 12 our adjacent is 9 gives us 1.33 so inverse tan is 53.13 so this angle theta is 53.13 so the bearing from x to z so this angle here would be the total angle here 120 minus this angle theta which gives us 66.87 degrees so this 66.87 degrees okay now if we want the bearing from z to x remember we've got this angle here so we get the supplementary angle which is 113.13 degrees and then 360 minus the supplementary angle gives us the bearing Z to X which is this in red okay measuring clockwise from north and that's 246.87 if a ship sails from port A to B bearing of 110 degrees then we can work out the bearing from B to A by 360 minus the 70 as we did in the previous question gives us 290 degrees however where there's another way of doing this if we draw east west and north south lines and those are 90 degrees to each other and also these west and east on both points can be considered as parallel lines with a transversal crossing them so we can use our rules of transversals and parallel lines so for instance here this is 110 degrees from A to B the bearing this is our supplementary angle 70 degrees 70 at 110 is 180 so this then to our east direction is 90 degrees this which is our line continued would then be 110 yeah the total bearing minus 90 which is 20 degrees this would be our angle which is our vertical angle 70 degrees and this our vertical angle to the 20 20 degrees so the bearing from B to A would be 90 degrees which is here plus 20 degrees plus 70 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 20 degrees this is a longer way of doing it but this method comes in handy when we're working out bearings if we're given only certain angles or we're given sort of an angle like this 20 degrees and we want to work out the bearing from B to A in this question a boat sails from A 40 kilometers a bearing of 140 so this angle here from north to this 40 kilometer line that we've drawn from A to B 
then it travels 250 degrees so the bearing here is 250 degrees from B up to this point here to a point C 80 kilometers away so 80 kilometers to point C okay so we draw our triangle for A B C with our two known distances 40 kilometers 80 kilometers we know this or we were given this as 140 degrees work out our supplementary angle 40 degrees 140 plus 40 is 180 this is our bearing from B to C so it's 250 degrees and then because we know this is 40 degrees we can work out this angle within the triangle that we've drawn as 70 degrees so that's 250 yep so 360 minus 240 minus 40 gives us 70 degrees now that we know this and we've got these two distances so this is an enclosed angle we can use our cosine law or cosine rule b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b so that becomes b squared equals 40 squared plus 80 squared minus 2 40 times 80 cos 70 which gives us the distance 76.23 kilometers as b